Hello and welcome to another Astro video. I did just a quick little introductory video for my last upload and it did pretty well. So I want to continue going over some of the basics with Astro. So let's get to it. First, let's go over components. So a component has a structure. Up top here is what they call as the component script. And up here you can do things like declare variables, you can deconstruct props, and you can specify types. You can import. All that stuff is between the three dashes. So that is the component script. And then the component template is underneath. That's what's in the body. So here we have just a really basic component. You'll notice it looks a little bit different than uh, React. We're not doing exports of the component. It's just going to use the file name as the component name. So when I go to import my components on the people page, it's going to automatically identify this is the component, this is the file. So it's called mycomponent.astro. So we have a person wrapper, we have a div on the outside that's going to wrap everything. And then inside we're going to loop over or map over each of the names. We're going to give them each their own cards and we're going to list out their name, age, and hobbies. So here's the entire component. And then underneath, similar to how they have their card set up, I just added some styling underneath between style tags. And yeah, so we're going to use this on the people page. And so on the people page, this is in the default pages directory. So source pages, I have a people.astro. We're going to import that component at the top. This allows me to use it down below in the body. We're going to specify a bunch of people, John, Jane, and Kyle. They each have all of their properties. And we're going to specify the types for these properties. So we have a, we have a string, we have a number, and then we have another, a string. And we're going to pass that through the component. And this is what it looks like. So if you had a very long list, you could um, you could list them out up here. You could pull them in from a, a separate folder. You could even pull them in with JSON data. Let's do that really quick. Let me show you how to do that. So let's move this to a separate file. Let's uh, you know pretend that you're working for a company that has hundreds of people. You're going to need the space, or you're going to want it all separate here. All right, and it, it appears to be pulling now from the JSON file. Let's add another name just to make sure that this is indeed coming through from the JSON. We'll say Brian age is 28, and he likes running. So just to review what we did here today, we imported a component called my component. That is within the components directory. We imported some data from the data directory, people.json. We are specifying the types of props. So name, age, and hobbies are all identified with prop types. We are passing in the sum data into the component. And if we take a look at the component, it takes just name to basically specify the origin of the component or the origin of the data rather. So here's name. We're going to loop over or map over name. Each person is going to get their own card. There's going to be a list with name, age, and hobbies. And those are identified with name.name, .name, name age, name.hobbies. We got some styling for the component down below. And the data itself is within people.json. So a separate file. So this could be, you know, thousands of lines long and it would all push through here. And this is what it looks like with some, some styling, some flex box. There we go. If we didn't want, if we didn't want them to center with flex box, we could stack them like this. They'd each get their own card. So this could be, you know, the beginnings of an about us, like team layout. We could include an image. We can include links to their GitHub profiles. So yeah, just kind of a quick video. I'm learning a lot as I'm using Astro and building with it, and I really like it. So I hope this was helpful. 
if you're just starting out building it, this is how you can get data in and looping over the data within a component. So yeah, stick around, subscribe for more Astro videos. I'm going to do a few different ones in the coming weeks. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much.